What is up guys? So today is the day before a drift event. So like every time I'm stressing out horribly for no good reason, but I think we'll be all set. S13 seems good. There's a lot of little things I still need to do to it. And the cool thing is Drew is actually drifting tomorrow, which is fantastic because Drew hasn't gotten out of the track in a long time. So we got to make sure his car is all set and all that typical stuff before an event. But the start of the day, um, I ordered yellow uh, bulbs for my bricks because I wanted to have a yellow fog light in the center. At least see how it looked because I do love yellow fog lights. So just got them in. I'm going to throw them in real quick and show you how it looks. So we got the before and after <laughs> in the video it really looks like it's just like a dull incandescent bulb but but trust me in person it looks pretty yellow it looks pretty cool i'm not i was expecting a little bit more yellow it doesn't look super yellow but i still like it it does look cool i guess uh cheaping out on bulbs really shows so drew what does your car need to be ready for tomorrow i'm gonna do a quick leak down test to make sure there's no boost leaks front and rear alignment gotta weld my battery box in because the welds broke and i'm all ready to drift tomorrow heck yeah what about you don you drifting tomorrow no i'm not no he, he's got to do a few more maintenance things until he could drift again but we'll get there in the meantime, he's playing with his fitment. <laughs> that toe is so off. <laughs> DJ just showed up. Looking fresh as always, boy. So since I've been too lazy to pit my cage this whole time, uh, it's been resting a little bit, and I want to wrap it. I think I'm just going to wrap the door bar so it looks nice for now. I think it'll work pretty good. So I'm getting off all this old crappy paint. It's just falling off, and I'm going to put some vinyl down. Don is officially offing his toe hitch. What are you doing? You're cutting it off? Why are you cutting it down? Such, oh. such a shame. Huh? Such a shame. Dude. I mean, Looks a lot better. Oh. Too bad my whole cage didn't look like that. But I'll take it. Half-ass fixes. All right, so this is, a, this is a pretty nice, lazy day for me because I think my car is all set as far as that goes. I don't know. I'll probably think of something at the last second, but I think we're good. So Drew is going to take over for today. You got to show the viewers what you're doing. I can do that. Okay. Let me take a first spin. Yeah, just the life of Randy. <laughs> hey, boy. Tuning in live at the gay garage. Let's see what we're getting busy with today. Be sure you Drewtube. Drewtube. Yeah, this is episode one of Drewtube. So uh, comment, like, leave a comment if you want more Drewtube action. What is up, YouTube? We are back on another episode of Drewtube. So, right now I'm having some fitment issues between the fender and my tire. My tire's a little bit too big, and so I flappered a little bit of my fender away here with the flapper wheel so that I'm, I can fit the wheels. When it sits on the ground, obviously, it's a lot tighter. And this pinch weld in the back here was giving me... Yeah, now you can see it. So this pinch weld in the back here was giving me some issues because it normally sticks straight out. So I had to, I hammered that back and I smashed it all back. So um, when I'm at full lock, my wheel doesn't hit. So hopefully now when my car's on the ground, I'll have no problems. Okay guys, so this is how the fender looked the whole way up. So you can see where I trimmed it now in order to fit my wheel. So now just like the other side, I need to push this pinch weld in in order for my wheel to not rub at full lock. And it's pretty sharp, so this will do a lot of damage to a tire. In order to push in the pinch weld, we got to give it a couple of hyunts. Okay, so now that I've flattened the other pinch weld, I'm going to put both wheels back on and lower the cart to see how it fits at full lock. Uh, re up on the zonies right now, dude. Seven dollars worth of Arizona's. You can't beat it. Shout out to CVS, two for one. Come up, DJ. Yeah. What are we doing, buddy? Gas lines, cause it was my fuel pressure regulator was mounted over here, so I moved it back there so I can actually see it and read it. So we're gonna do that. How to get bigger lines? The DJ's car is super clean. Don't show them this. But side, leave a comment if you guys think that. He should hit an event with us next year. Maybe, yeah. Early springtime. Once I get some good, like, trip spares, I guess. Update. Pinch weld is flattened and at full lock. We have zero, plenty of clearance. 
which is exactly what we wanted. Minty, 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 minty. Let's see how this works. Oh God. Yeah, Dad. Oh my God. It's nothing. It's nothing. Right in the hole. God damn, you're so lucky you got a pit crew like me and DJ. <laughs> okay, he's out, but now it's just. <laughs> So we noticed the trailer was getting a little squeaky, so we jacked it up and checked one of the wheel bearings. It's a little, um, a little crusty, so we got to repack it with some grease. And we don't have a grease gun, so uh, Justin from Morpheus is letting us use his. So he's gonna bring it down a little bit. We'll get that situated, load the trailer up, and I think we're good. I, uh, I hope we're good. I think. Steph just stole your car, Jimmy. So Jimmy's trying to fix his his brake line. It's leaking a little bit. What are you gonna do? Just a lot of bit. I'm ho low key hoping they're just kind of loose, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, it's leaking pretty good, dude. Well, my brake line. Of course, stripped out and it's been leaking. And I didn't realize it, so that explains all these random oil marks I kept seeing pop up everywhere. It was leaking slow enough that like I didn't really notice it, but it's leaking enough that it wouldn't be allowed to drift at the track. And uh, I tried to fix it, and it like I touched it and it literally stripped out. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to get a brake line to work for an S13 with 3NZX brakes. Worst case, I could take the line off my Z and I can make that work, but I really don't want to pull my Z apart. This sucks. Alright, well it looks like I have to take the brake line off my Z, so that's happening. Alright, so the Z has been stripped of its brakes. Sorry Z, and uh, well my brake, the brake line, and it surprisingly fits extremely well in the S13. Um, and I, the Z actually uses like this weird metal line, if I can get it. It's like that loops up right here and then goes to a hard line, or a soft line, and it actually fits really well. So. As long as it doesn't leak, which it probably will, knowing my luck, we'll be all set. Sorry, Z. We're good. I had a little stressful, I had a pretty stressful moment for a minute, but I think we're all set. Uh, um, Drew, uh, we still have to go at his car. Uh, I'm almost done welding in his battery box. I'm going to give him an alignment, and I think we should. Did you do a boost leak test yet? Did do a boost leak test. What? Found one big boost leak, fixed it. Any other boost leaks? No boost leaks. That's awesome. And now DJ is also doing a boost leak test. I just have one yeah. as of now. So that's good. Isn't it exciting to find a boost leak? Yeah, yeah. It is. definitely. It's like relieving because you know your car is going to hit way hard now. <laughs> so the past like hour and a half or so, nothing special. We've just been loading the trailer, unloading because we forgot to unload it from the last event with all the old tires and stuff. So Drew's finishing up his front end in the sense of we decided to raise it a little bit just in case for hard transitions tomorrow so it doesn't duff his fenders. And then we got to give it a quick board, uh, quick board alignment and uh, load my trailer up, pack up the tools, and do that. Um, as you guys have probably seen from the last couple of drift videos, uh, drift prep videos, as things never go 100% according to plan, we always aim to get the trailer packed up for like 8 o'clock at night. No, already way past that. You guys are probably sick of watching me do board like these board alignments, so I'm not going to really show you how to do it. I'm going to tell you the gist of it though if you haven't seen us do it before. You put a board on each wheel, you make sure it's centered and flush against the wheel. <laughs> and then you take a tape measure, there's slits on them on both sides and you measure the distance between each side. And theoretically, if the distance is the same front and rear, wheels are straight, parallel, and we're ready to go. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to this so that I don't spank these new tires that Jimmy hooked me with. I forgot to film, I do that all the time, I'm sorry guys, but this time in the night, um, I'm waiting for Justin to show up because we're going to go through my tune one more time just to make sure everything's all set. I'm a little worried so my sensors aren't acting up correctly. I just want to plug the computer in and make sure all my sensors are working very well, or just working in general. So, Hopefully we get a little rest before tomorrow, got a big day. Yeah, we have to wake up at... Gonna kill it. Gonna kill yeah, it. Yeah, what time are we waking up, 6 a.m.? Yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah. And 
You know, the thing that sucks is drifting doesn't start to like 10.30, so yeah. it's like... A lot of ugh, waiting. A lot of waiting, but these guys are very... A lot of people are very adamant about if you miss a driver's meeting, you can't drive, which sucks is a lot of times the driver's meeting is just like, oh yeah, like don't crash into each other, and this is the layout. Justin was able to get a couple free minutes out here to check over everything, just make sure everything's still behaving the way it should. All the sensors are still hooked up, because my breakout box should get kicked pretty hard at some event, so I just want to make sure everything was all good, so... So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. So I think we tuned it, uh, the base map at least, on a pretty decent sized boost leak. And now I fixed most of them, I believe. Or hopefully I fixed all of them. So now we kind of have to adjust for it, so. Big shout out to Justin over at Morpheus Performance. <laughs> Link is in the bio. Give him a follow. Does A1 work? Sauce. Justin's a great dude. Oh yeah. Oh. Thanks for covering good. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds very healthy. So, it, it wanted to die at the bottom a little bit after I fixed everything. So, Justin's just setting the recover, the idle recovery a little bit higher. And he's taking a little bit of fuel off because my I did have him tune my car very rich because I wanted to make it very safe. But we're very confident in the map at this point that we're going to take a little bit of fuel off the map so uh, the air feels a little bit more precise. The trailer is all loaded and Drew's about to head out. So we aimed for being out of here by 8 o'clock at night and of course as it goes it is now 12.30 at night and it's late and we have to be up in six hours. So I'm towing with a different truck today so my mom's boyfriend Greg actually is allowing me to use his truck and it's like a brand new C71 truck and I'm a little nervous because it's too pretty. So thank you again, Greg, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. So hopefully I'll get a truck to myself very, very soon because I keep mooching off of people. But I'm gonna call it a night. Fingers crossed everything goes well, just because, you know, I'm anxious always, but you guys know the drill. Cop some t-shirts, Haggard collab, link in description. So are mine, which I'm not wearing, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and have a great day.